I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Today, I want to talk to you elite Democrats who constantly hem and haw or haw and hem about, I can't believe these people are following this guy, believing this stuff. How is this even possible? And the reason is, you Democrats are arrogant, arrogant as hell. And because you are backed up by science, facts, and the truth, medical testing, economic performance, GDP performance, unemployment numbers, you know, reality. You think that you can just sit back and it all come around. It won't. The people that you are up against actually believe JFK Jr. was coming back from the dead. They believe that this dude had the key to the election. That this guy who makes pillows had the goods on illegal voting machines and that this dude was a good Christian. I don't know how many times I've heard, that's not what I believe. There's a podcast I listened to that said you're full of shit. <laughs> Then what happens is you Democrats sit back and laugh about how dumb these people are while you sit confidently in the facts and the truth. And then you lose election after election. This is no time to hold back and rise above it. It's not time to be better than they are because you're not. You're just a different kind of arrogant. It's time to call out these humps or we lose everything. And you need to do it as harshly and with as much vitriol as they lie about vaccines or gays, trans, immigrants or Walt Disney. When they tell you it's the end of men, (laughs) and then they show you the gayest thing anyone has ever seen since a birdcage. You can't just laugh, Democrats. You have to redefine. You have to make your point. Call them out on their bullshit as loudly as they spew their bullshit. This is Mallory McMorrow, a Democrat who was called a groomer by Republican Lana Theus. Lana, by the way, insinuated in a campaign email that McMorrow from suburban Detroit and the Christian parent of a young daughter herself wanted to groom and sexualize kindergartners. What the? And the problem is most Democrats just laugh it off and say, oh, I am not going to deal with this nonsense. It's ridiculous. But to the Republican base, you not fighting back is an admission of guilt. We are in a different world. And Representative McMorrow body slammed what was said about her. Then balled it up and rammed it down Lana Theus' throat. And then embarrassed any and everyone who had ever talked to Lana Theus. Watch this. People who are different are not the reason that our roads are in bad shape after decades of disinvestment or that health care costs are too high or that teachers are leaving the profession. I want every child in this state to feel seen, heard, and supported, not marginalized and targeted because they are not straight, white, and Christian. We cannot let hateful people tell you otherwise to scapegoat and deflect from the fact that they are not doing anything to fix the real issues that impact people's lives. And I know that hate will only win if people like me stand by and let it happen. There, Democrats, that's how you do it. Call out their stupid, their lies, and their insanity by screaming sanity. Or, Democrats, you can take the high road, stand on your policies at work, your statistics that prove that you're right, and then get your asses handed to you in the midterms. Hey, but at least you were right (laughs) as America burns. I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. Fix it! (sighs) That's target heart rate. Holy shit.